Hello everyone, this is the teaser video for this um, coming Sunday, November 3rd. If you did my last video, you realize for some reason I was stuck in the month of July. Uh, but yes, this is for November 3rd. This will be the week after Fall Family Weekend. So hopefully for all those who are at Fall Family Weekend, you had a great time. But um, this, this passage I'm going to be doing for um, this Sunday, November 3rd, is going to be Genesis chapter 3, verses 21 through 24. Genesis chapter 3 verses 21 to 24, but I'm actually going to jump around uh, a couple other passages uh, verses Genesis 2 25 and then Genesis 3 7 Because the word I'm focusing on um, for this week is the word shame And actually I think as I was thinking of the word shame I also thought of shameful and shameless and then I actually read the definition of shame. I'm going to read that definition for you, so uh, don't mind me as I look away from the screen here. But the definition that I found for shame was a painful feeling of humiliation or distress caused by the consciousness of wrong or foolish behavior. So as you start looking at that definition, I mean, I think all of us can realize we've done foolish behavior. Um, we probably have done, um, we felt humiliation, we felt the distress um, but one of the key words in that definition is the word consciousness. And that really, consciousness really determines the whole um, matter of the word shame. And that's why kids can get away with something because they're not sham conscious that they're doing something wrong. And that's why we teach them what's right and wrong so they can um, learn and, and, and grow from that. But as you... Look at the story of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden and the verses 225 and verses uh, 3, 7. You kind of notice a change in the garden, the change in Adam and Eve. And that big shame, that word is shame, but it also comes with the idea of consciousness. So that's what we're going to really be digging into is the idea of consciousness and knowing the act of knowing wrong from right. And how do we know um, wrong and right how we learn wrong and right how do we know that we should be shameful and and how do we approach people who are shameless um, so you see the word shame really brings in some heavy thoughts to it so that's where I'm going to go hopefully um, you can dig into it and when in my Sunday school class we can talk about it a little bit more um, but the definition I read for shame and looking at the passage of Adam and Eve and the, the whole story and really the fact of consciousness is really going to determine if we have shame, if we're shameful or shameless. So until then, take care and be safe. I hope to see everyone on Sunday.